We're looking for a deserter. A drummer boy from Lumley's. Any of you seen him? Hey? <laughs> as I thought. As innocent as newborn babes. He's here, all right. Now you go and search the rooms upstairs. And Corporal, I want everybody up against that wall. I want the room clear. Right, son. Come on, come on, come on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. afternoon, uh, but a trifle warm for the pigs. Don't you find it so? Search the cellar. And uh, what can I do for the British Army? You know. Oh, of course. You heard I was getting married and you couldn't resist the temptation. What? So you brought all your men along to drink my health. And so you shall, Sergeant. So you shall. I'll crack a bottle of wine with you. Oh, you can't deceive me, you know. A gallant heart beats beneath that rugged face. Now, listen to me. You know why I'm here, Kid Ross. Where's the boy? The boy? You know the penalty for harboring a deserter. A deserter? Nothing in the cellar, Sergeant. Have you lost something, Sergeant? Now, you listen. The boy worked here before he joined the army. He's here now, and you know where. I want every inch of this place covered. Can't you hear the Sergeant? Jump to it, boys. Jump to it. Yeah, what's in these? Five regiments of cavalry and the Queen of France. Try a pint. Sweet lass of Richmond Hill. Sweet lass of Richmond Hill. Joe! Oh, Hey, Peter. My lad. And that's for you. Listen, he's only a kid. Can't you let him go? He's an enlisted soldier. He accepted the Queen's shilling. Yes. You tricked him into taking it. Now, look here, Mr. Cummings. We don't want your sort of recruiting sergeants round about here. If you're big enough, why don't you fight for the Duke and leave us in peace? Your face is as good as a cannonball any day. I'm taking him. Come on, boys, come on. Come on. Come on.
Currants and sultanas, there for the wedding cake. 12 sacks of potatoes, 14 pineapples. <laughs> Careful, clumsy. A quarter of venison, eight gallons of home-brewed punch. Eight gallons? Yes, make it nine, your mother's coming. It's closed, can't you read? Read? No, oh, I can't read. Tell me, please. Where might I find Mistress Ross? Mist Mistress Ross? Yes. What do you want with her? I've come for the wedding. The wedding? Yes. Oh, uh, country cousin, eh? No, no, no. I'm the bridegroom. The bri... <laughs> <laughs> the bridegroom. <laughs> you keep on looking. You'll find her soon enough. <laughs> I'll see you at the wedding. I always like a good laugh. <laughs> if you don't keep still, you won't have this ready for the wedding. Not that I believe in omens and such like, but I must say, no wedding could have started worse. And I ought to know, for I've had four husbands and buried three of them. <laughs> I tell you what it is, Kit Ross. Marriage is no laughing matter. <laughs> Dick! Dick, come here. Who put you there? Don't ask me. Ask the recruiting sergeant. Sergeant? But what the... Don't worry about that now. Come and sit down beside me. Wait. Hold this. What are you after? After getting you out. Oh, you great goof. Do you want to see me sit here another week? Leave that alone and come and sit down beside me. Hurry. <sighs> well, haven't you got a greeting for me? Pleased to see me again. Mm -hmm. Nervous? Middling? No your words. I've learned them. Well, say them to me. Oh, now you're not going to look stupid in church, are you? Give me a hand. Come on. That's all right. I, Richard, take thee, Kit. Catherine? Take thee, Catherine to be my lawful wedded wife. <laughs> just for a breathing space. <laughs> Friends and neighbors, the bride and groom await your gifts over there on the settle. I make haste to bestow your offerings and then your happy revels can be resumed. <laughs> Dick Wells. Yeah. A word with you. Ah, oh, lovely. Thank you. You see, Master Welsh, I've decided to show you there's no ill feeling, in a manner of speaking. Now, seeing this is your wedding night, all I can do is to wish you happiness and drink your health. Well, that's very handsome of you, Sergeant. No, no, no. And as a proof of good faith, he has a present. For the bridegroom. This is a shilling. Yeah. The queen's shilling. 
I won't take it. It's a trick. Ah, you've accepted it in front of witnesses. You know what this means, my lad? You're in the army now. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. You let me go. Kid! Help! Help, kid! Help! It's coming to the press game. They've got me. Leave me alone, will you? Kid! Coming! Help! Oh, help! Let me alone, Kid! Kid! They've taken him! They've taken Dick! Come quickly! Kid! Kid! They got me! They got me! They're coming to the press gang! Kid! Come on, Kid! Come on, Kid! Come on, Kid! Come on, Kid! Where are you going? I'm going to get my man. sure of that. Here's a guinea for you, my lad. Now you're in the Queen's service. There you are. Here's one for you. Good luck to you. There you are. Well, my young Bantam, what do you want? A guinea, sir. To get a guinea, you have to be a man. Eh, Sergeant? A full-size man, not half a man. Give him half a guinea, sir. <laughs> Is he worth taking at all? I'm full of spirit, sir. Take me and I'll, I'll beat the French for you. <laughs> and where will the Duke of Marlborough come in? Oh, me and Marlborough. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's your guinea, my lad. Oh, thank you. There you are. <laughs> thank you. I'm here in Flanders to win the Great War, not to bandy words with politicians. Your Grace, the Chancellor is surely something more than a mere politician. Colonel, I've long suspected that. <laughs> of course, the Chancellor is everybody, and I'm nobody. Let's admit it. But even a poor Captain General has the right to ask for enough troops to win an occasional battle. Do they expect me to conquer the great Louis Cattors with a corporal's guard? Your Grace has performed that feat so often of late. Lenin, Ramilly, Zoudanard. So perhaps they conclude you can conquer France by yourself. With staff, Your Grace. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, you're an impudent young rascal. And this is no laughing matter. These people at Whitehall, if they sent me a troop of horse, every time they sent me a politician to teach me my business, why, Flanders would be full of men. And England would be left to the politicians, sir. And the women. Well, heaven help the women then. <laughs> And God help the politicians. This way, Your Reverence. When I travel on King Louis' service, the church gives me, shall we say, leave of absence. Just call me plain, monsieur. Yeah. Mr. Harley. Your Grace. Your servant, Mr. Chancellor. I see you are not alone. No, Your Grace. May I present Monsieur Gautier? Envoy of His Majesty King Louis XIV. Your servant, Your Reverence. Your Grace knows me? My Grace knows enough to provide My Grace with a fairly competent intelligence staff. Has Father Gautier something he wishes to ask me? Indeed, yes, Your Grace. He is here to discuss peace terms with you. Discuss? There's some mistake here. What is there to discuss? Your Grace, the terms of peace? That's the mistake. When the time comes, the terms of peace will not be discussed.
They will be dictated by me. I'm afraid you've allowed yourself to be brought here on a fool's errand. Ensign Cook. Sir. I promise you will not be long detained. But Your Grace, I protest. Your Grace, I cannot leave without at least... No, no, there's not the slightest need for you to apologize. Put it down to your ignorance of the English character. We are not in the least offended. Are we, Mr. Chancellor? Adieu, Your Reverence. Ensign Cook. This way, Your Reverence. <laughs> Gentlemen, the Queen. The Queen! The Queen. Queen. Men, 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 send me more men, Mr. Chancellor, and I promise you peace on our own terms. Your Grace said that a month ago. I said three months. You redeem your promise, Mr. Chancellor, and I'll redeem mine. Your Grace, I have faithfully done my best for you, but you do not realize how things are at home. There are but few of the old fighting stock left. The men I can send now are not the kind to win resounding victories. Bah! Send me anything on two legs. And I'll make a soldier of him, eh, Colonel? <laughs> your Grace has never failed so far. Why not recruit a few of the ladies, Your Grace? An inspiration, Harry. Did you hear that, Harley? A regiment of ladies. <laughs> 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 Gentlemen, the ladies. The ladies. The ladies. The ladies. If you're out for some fun, join the army. You'll have no regrets if you do. And all the people will say you're a hero. A great life is waiting for you. All for a shilling a day. All for a shilling a day. Marching around with everything out. All for a shilling a day. Called by a bugle each day. Breakfast and nothing to pay. Learning the words that a sergeant can say. All for a shilling a day. All for a shilling a day. All for a shilling a day. Marching around with everything on. All for a shilling a day. Feeling so tired one day. You stop the horse and say, hey! Give me a ride and the horse answers, nay! Not for a shilling a day! Can you drink? Can you drink? Like a man? Like a man! Can you fight? Can you fight? In the van? In the van! Can you win? Can you win? If you can! If you can! You're the sort of man for me and Olga! Over there for safety. 
But I'll have it back if I have to search the old troop. Have you got it, Ned Sparks? Me, Corporal? No, Corporal. Not me, Corporal. Peter Gannett. Me? You. A rabbit? Yes. Well, what's a rabbit look like? Haven't seen a rabbit for years. Have you got it? No, Corporal. Tom Smith. No, Corporal. Perhaps it ran away from you, Corporal. Where did you steal it? I didn't steal it. It was dead anyway. I got it from a poor woman who was wanting a few sous. And I'll bet you're still wanting them. Here. You? What do you got in there? You talking to me, Corporal? Yes. Soup. What's in it? Water, dirt, a few candle ends, a bit of string I found on the lot, which I'm not quite there's I'm more in that than water. Oh! <laughs> Here, Steve, Jim. Get hold of that. Here, you. Give me that. It's my nightcap, Corporal. It may be your nightcap tonight, but it's my soup strainer now. No, you can't do that. Get Get on Get on Get on Get Take care of all. Stand fast and pay attention to the officer. Now, you lads are to be inspected by the Captain General himself tomorrow. Well, let's see you. Polly! Come on, look lively! Straighten your legs! Well, Sergeant, I thought I'd recruited a lot of farmers. I seem to have got their scarecrows instead. Look at that man. And that. What his grace will say when he sees his reinforcements, I don't know. Why, here's a miracle. He's had half give it touch, sir. Step forward, my man. Your name? Simon Welsh, sir. Sparrow for short. And a very trim young sparrow at that. Well, Sergeant, you must groom the rest of this ragtag into something fit for his grace to set eyes on. Very good, sir. And you can employ this young cockerel as your model. Get back in the ranks. You wait till light, sir. I'll give you a time, my lad. Now get to it! I'll trim your feathers for you. Skinny in touch. <laughs> we'll pluck the sparrow's feathers for him tonight. Here, you and I'll be the smart ones on parade tomorrow. Belts, buckles, bandolier buttons, we'll have that lot. Don't wait till the others are asleep. Any of you oldsters know a bloke called Dick Welsh? Dick Welsh? Do I know Dick Welsh? <laughs> of course I know Dick Welsh. You do? What's he like? Oh, he was a little red-faced fellow with a cast in his left eye. He was in the greys. He lost his right eye at Houdenard. That's right. And when he got his discharge, he settled in this country and married a little mademoiselle from uh, Armentiers, I think it was. Dick Welsh? I'm the only one here can tell you of Dick Welsh. Because why? Because I was the only one who saw him go up. Up? Ah, he was blown up by a landmine over Dick's mute way. Right up he went and never came down. That's a lie, because I buried him myself. How could you bury him yourself? I did, I did. Yes, I did, I tell you. He's all in little bits and pieces, and I just shovel him up. I don't shovel him up. All right, lads, all right, all right. There isn't enough of him left to matter. Capital's gone. Lights out. Now, come on, come on. Pipe down, all of you. Now we'll see who the smart ones are on parade tomorrow. Take this young cockerel as your model, Sergeant. <laughs> That's what the officer said. That's well. This is how it's going to look.
after grease. Poor material. Well, a little Flanders discipline will stiffen them up, Colonel. The material's there, all right. It always is. I'll take a closer view. Shoulder! No pilot! Damn it, Colonel, look at this. Now, here's a man who looks like a soldier. A soldier who looks like a man. Let's see if he's as smart as he looks. On guard. Frighten the French. Colonel, this man's promoted. Promoted? Thank you, kindly, sir. Now you, on guard. On guard. On guard, man, when his grace tells you. Frighten the French. Frighten the French. Frighten them. Are all your corporals like this, Sergeant? Indeed, no, Your Grace. I don't know what's happened to this man. How dare you come on parade in that state? My uniform was taken from me, Colonel. Last night, in the dark. Who took it? A big savage fellow, Your Grace. He set upon me. I had no chance. <laughs> <laughs> Reduced to the ranks. No, 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 Colonel. Pardon, Your Grace. You're promoted again. So you're a corporal now, eh? Yes, Sergeant. Thank you, Sergeant. I suppose you'll be expected to stand in my shoes next. No, sir. Thank you, Sergeant. You're too modest, my lad. Come with me. <clears throat> Squadron, take care to perform your exercises. Shoulder your firelocks. Carry on, Corporal. What, me, Sergeant? Yes, and jump to it. Yes, sir. Squadron, pay attention. Take care, not attention. The best commanders should pay attention if they don't. They will. Squadron! Shut! Come on, come on, jump to it, jump to it, jump to it! Double your front! March! Right about face! As you were! To the front! To the right! As you were! To the front! As you were! To the right! Face! March! By Christmas, I hope. Sweethearts and wives, eh, Colonel? <laughs> we should be able to see the men in road from here. Well, my man, what does that little familiarity mean exactly? 
You must keep your head down, sir. Cannon over there, sir. Your Grace. Your what? Oh, my good gracious. Your Grace. You might draw the enemy's fire, sir. Uh, your Grace. A soldier oughtn't to be afraid of fire. Oh, but we are afraid, sir. Uh, your Grace. Afraid for you, Your Grace. After all, there is only one of Your Grace. A nice compliment. Uh, besides, Your Grace, uh, if you show yourself, they'll fire on us after you've gone, Your Grace. <laughs> What's your name? Simon Welsh. Sparrow for short, Your Grace. Then I take it, friend Sparrow, that you never risk a perch on the parapet. No need to try, Your Grace. I use this. What's this? What sort of a soldier are you, carrying a mirror? Oh, uh, my wife gave it to me, Your Grace. Uh, you know what women are. <laughs> Excuse me. What do you do exactly with your mirror? I'll show you, Your Grace. I, uh, I place the mirror in the musket so. Then I raise it above my head and observe the enemy ramparts. Voila! Do you see that, Colonel? Hmm. Smart lad, this. You ought to be on the staff. <laughs> Brains. <gasps> <gasps> attack had no right to fail. It was meant to be a surprise attack. And who got the surprise? We did, because the enemy were all ready for us. Why? Who warned them? Your Grace, I do not know for certain. You should know. You're a spy. My spy. My paid spy. And I pay by results. At this rate, you'll soon be a very hungry man, Master Naylor. Come, who's the traitor? Is it yourself? Are you trying to serve two masters by any chance? No, no, Your Grace, I swear it. Because if you are, there's a tall tree out there with a convenient branch. Well, speak, man. Is there no one you can think of? Well, there must be more than one traitor, Your Grace. One in your own headquarters and a go-between. One of my own officers. Think again, Master Naylor. Oh, it might not be an officer, Your Grace. A quartermaster's clerk may be in touch with movements of the ammunition and ration supply. A clever spy could derive much knowledge from such things and pass it on to the go-between, whoever he may be. Hmm. Join the army and see the world. A lot we've seen today. Twenty miles of Flanders mud. Ah, effective service, that is, Sergeant. How'd you like it after recruiting poor lads from cosy alehouses? Is the life too hard for you? There are always compensations if a man knows where to look for them. Good night, Sergeant. Mr. Boo, Sergeant Cumming, you sit and talk with me, yes? No, I'm on duty, but, uh... You will have a glass of wine and talk with me, yes? No, thank you kindly, ma'am. Oh, you are a lonely soldier, n'est-ce pas? I make you forget all that. This is incredible. Does he take such risks? Indeed, yes, sir. He must see everything for himself. He goes reconnoitering almost alone, sometimes in broad daylight. His staff are feared for his life. Oh, dear, we will justify that fear. Could you find out when he proposes to do this again? There are uh, ways of finding out. And another thousand francs when our coup is accomplished. Jacques! Monsieur. You know how to communicate with me? Yes, sir. Good. 
Allez-y. to you, bottle nose. Kit Ross in uniform. <laughs> now I can get even with you. I owe you something, you little rat. Uh, when I tell you, get out of it when I tell you. What have you done with my husband? You try and find out. All right. I'll report you. What you... You heard? Oh, yes, I heard all right. Look. Selling officers wines to civilians. And enemy civilians at that. All right. You tell them and I'll tell them that you're a woman. Now you keep your mouth shut and I'll keep mine. Is that a bet? All right. That's a bargain. If you tell me what you've done with my husband. He's in an inn on the other side of the town, just outside the Menin Gate. Dick's here and I'm wasting my time talking to you out of my way. You, promenade avec moi ce soir? Yes? Yeah. Je promenade avec... Oui, oui. <laughs> No. Brandy, had a skin full of it too. Oh, oh, oh he, he, somebody swollen his tent. No. Stolen his winch. That's right. Swollen his tent. Well, what of it? What are women for? To hell with a lot of them, I say. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so it's you, my little cockspar. Out of my way. Can it be you? It can and is. Ha, a fine chase I've had after you, Dick Welsh. Half round the world nearly. And a fine wild goose I've got at the end of it. Let me get you, my lad. Come here. Don't you think you're going to let go of me because I'm so old? I'll be able to get you off a second time. Thank you, Sergeant. Oi! I want to talk private to you. Come over here. I can't do that. I'm on sentry go. Can't we talk across the street? You want to get us both locked up? Listen, the things I've got to say to you can only be said by... You know, it's all a mistake about that girl. Uh-huh. Yes. I've never seen her before. Oh. I reckon I'll never see her again. Really? I don't know her name, and she doesn't know... Oh, mais bonjour, Dick. Bonjour, Fico, Coco. Go Comment away. Va, hein? uh, we're strangers. I don't know you. Oh. Go away. Jealous? Oh, shut up. I'll see you when I come off duty. I'll break your fat neck, and if I don't, it won't be my... Mais bonjour, mon colonel. Speak, oh. speak, speak. Oh. Speak, speak. Oh. Speak. Oh. speak. You come here 
and I'll tell you what you are in French. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, one more of those, then I'll break your... Ah, bonjour, ma petite... That's done it. Hi! Hi! Hi, come back. Come back. You're deserting your post. You'll be shot. You're as bad as she is. I'll deal with you later. Oi! Come on, come back, you two. Come on. So you thought you'd deceive me, eh? Bumpkin. That clodhopper. I don't know her name. And she don't know mine. And... Oh, you're fat. Yes, yes, I know. But it's all your fault that I'm here. Oh, oh my fault! Yes. My fault! You expect me to stand by and smile with something out of a French gutter? Throws bits of herself at me? Listen, I'm I a respectable married woman, I am. I don't want to argue with... Unshackle that man. Here, what are you going to do with my brother? I'll give you one guess, my lad. What? Listen, it's not his fault, it's all mine. Really, Sergeant, he's as innocent as a baby. That's what the Colonel thinks, too. That's why we're turning him loose. Party back to Blitz. Yes, Sergeant, but what are you going to do with the... him? That's all arranged for, lad. He's been taken care of, too. Uh, Sergeant's right. Don't worry over me, Dick. Unshackle this man. It's good. Ah. Thank you, Sergeant. Ah. Oh, well, don't bother to see me back to Blitz, Sergeant. It's no trouble, it's a pleasure. Thank you, Sergeant. Besides, you ain't going back to Billets. Oh, really? Why not? You're going to be shot at dawn. Here, here wait a minute. You don't really mean execution? Yes, at Zillibank. We but... shot five people there this week. You'll be the sixth. Will I? Oi! Come on, come on, come on. Oh. 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 Sergeant! Sir, the enemy are attacking Polygon Wood. Collect every man you can and bring him along. Very good, sir. Where are you taking this man? We're going to shoot him, sir. Why waste Her Majesty's ammunition? If he needs shooting, let the French have a try. Get back into the line, my man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, lads, back to the wall. Word to the men not to make a sound. We're in no case to draw the enemy's fire tonight. Very good, sir. I held the roads up. Three days mud fighting and we haven't made a yard of ground. Hardly an ounce of dry powder among us. What a country. There's one consolation, sir. They'll know better than to send British troops to fight in Flanders again. I don't see what consolation we get out of that. Sergeant! Sir! Is there nothing we can have for dinner? Nothing at all, sir. Isn't there anything in the officer's mess cart? I couldn't say, sir. Well, look, you fool. We haven't got a mess cart, sir. Where is it? When last seen, sir, was sunk to the axle just outside the village of Courtrai, five miles back. Get me a drink. Dirty water, sir. Oh, wasn't there some brandy left? Cornet Graham had it just before he died. Oh, the selfish young... Dinner's ready, sir. Who said that? I did, sir. Sergeant, take that clown away and drown him. Very good, sir. Come on. Oh, sir, dinner is ready. It's outside in the charcoal burner's hut. Roast duck, sir. Duck? 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 And green peas. Where did you get a duck from? Sir. What a country for ducks. And what went up for them, sir? I certainly do smell something. That's an old cow, sir. This way for the duck. It is a duck. Where did you get that? I won it, sir. From a civilian. He was a forage contractor, I think, sir. How could you win it? Uh, well, uh, he lost it, so I reckon. I must have won it. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> sir, what is it? 
And I'll take him now. Who? Trooper Simon Welch. Him? Well, what do you want him for? Shoot him at dawn, sir. Ah. He's getting on that way now. Shoot that man? Not at dawn or any other hour. How dare you suggest such a thing? Make him a corporal, sir. The duck's worth it. Promoted corporal. Thank you, Sergeant, sir. I'm going to duck. All right, Sergeant. Very good, sir. You want the enemy to come up and eat this duck? Don't argue with me. I must see the colonel. Now, look here. Sergeant Poole, what is all this disturbance? The man outside says he must have a word with you. Who is it? Name of Dick Welsh, sir. What, another Welsh? Sir, I beg your pardon, sir, but you're shooting the wrong man. It was my fault. I left my post. Left it in the face of danger, I did, and he, my little brother, he came after me to bring me back to my duty. So I've come to give myself up. Well, I'm damned. Silly old... Duck. Sir, you can't shoot the wrong man. You're prepared to take the punishment yourself? Yes, sir. Corporal Welch. Sir. Take this man away and punish him. Yes, sir. Hi, you. Away. There's a young devil for you. Shot his own brother. Oh, he'll bring a great Frenchman on top of us for miles. Come on. Especially, young Sparrow. And what is the good news, Sergeant? Wait for it, wait for it. Now, His Grace is highly pleased with the manner in which the regiment repulsed the surprise attack last night. He regards your achievement as most meritorious. Meritorious? It was miraculous. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing in the ranks. Now, in appreciation of the gallantry displayed on that occasion, His Grace is pleased to confer a very high distinction on the lot of you. Double rations. Now, being as though he's making a personal recognizance of the enemy's front line, His Grace is graciously pleased to permit the regiment to furnish him with an escort and bodyguard for that their purpose. Oh. Now, only ten men have been acquired. Oh. That is, I should say, nine men and Corporal Speller. Oh. You've been specially honoured, my lad. I thank you, Sergeant. I thought you would. Now, two, four, six, eight, nine. Now, from there to here, we'll volunteer. And that's what I call real pluck. I'm proud of him, my lads, I really am. Left face. March! The rest of it can dismiss. Hey! What do you want? I got a message for you, my lucky lad. For me? Yeah. From a certain little corporal, name of Welsh. Where is she, Sergeant? What's she say? Careful. I spy strangers. Now, I'll tell you where you can find her. You turn left at the end of the street, go straight across the fields until you come to the cottage where Zillebeck Annie lives. But Annie doesn't live there anymore. No, you fool, but the cottage is still there. Yeah. Then you bear due east, past the fallen virgin, until you come to a ruined inn. You'll see the sign over the door, Oaks Trisamis. You'll find her there waiting for you. Well, thank you kindly, Sergeant. Oh, by the way, uh, you'll see a man standing outside. Give him this note. 
Can you read? Oh, no. Well, it's, it's just an order for forage. But are you sure I'll find her there, Sergeant? If you don't, you can shoot me for a traitor. When we get through this, we should be able to see across the open. How far does your line extend? I have two men on the right flank, Your Grace, a hundred yards out, and two more on the left. Tell them if they come to open ground to notify me at once. Yes, Your Grace. Any sign of open ground to be reported at once? Yes, sir. Here, come on. There's nothing to be afraid of. Not for you, perhaps, but I've got the imagination. Surprise. A whole squadron of them. I got the Duke. Got the Duke? Yes. So where are you going? We go back to camp to get some help. What? Back to camp? Help? But now is the time for help. Come on. Oh, oh. oh. listen. Speak English. English. No. Then you'll speak it now or never again. Listen. Oil a Duke. They've taken the Duke. Duke. Uh, no, no. No, no. Merci beaucoup. Purely a temporary inconvenience, Your Grace. When we reach Paris, you will be housed more comfortably. Paris? Excellent. I've been trying to get there for ten years. As we have learned to our cost, Your Grace. Your reverence. With your permission, I must take certain precautions. Guard. Rest easy, Guard de la Porte. Your person is too valuable to hazard, Your Grace. Your courtesy is overwhelming, Father Gautier. If my stomach were fuller, it would positively bowl me over. Mille pardon! Où est votre fille? Donnez-nous à manger. Mais oui, monsieur. Je vais la chercher toute sweet. Toute sweet. She will fetch her daughter, who will serve us at once. And if you've no objections, I should like to join you. Of course, I should be lost without your reverence. Precisely. Marie, où es-tu? Marie! Marie, est-ce que vous avez vu ma fille? Oh, mais où est-elle? Oh, mon Dieu, c'est pas de sa père! Marie, Marie, où es-tu? Marie! Marie! Ici! Oh, où tu te caches? Où tu te caches? Ah, tu es là! Allez-y, allez-y. Nous voudrons manger. Dépêchez-vous, dépêchez-vous. Oui, monsieur. Oui, monsieur. And may I ask the nature of my future in Paris? You will have every opportunity to dictate... <laughs> I believe that is the word. To dictate 
your terms of peace? In collaboration with His Majesty, of course. What does Your Grace say to that? My Grace finds it charmingly expressed, but like this wine, damnably French. Meanwhile, your soldiers, deprived of their brilliant leadership, will scatter like sheep. The fortunes of war, Your Grace. Or shall we call it the fruits of treachery? As you wish, it's all the same. That is, of course, assuming that I'm still in your care when you reach Paris. Nothing can prevent that. La, 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 la. Oh, pardon. La, 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 By the way, do your guards by any chance speak English? No. Then they don't understand a word we're saying. Well, why do you ask? Because I wish to point out to you, without embarrassment, that if you make one false move, you're a dead man. What? What? Keep still. The object you feel pressing into your back is the barrel of a pistol. Needless to say, it's loaded. Could I trouble you to pass the salt? The salt. Thank you. I trust you see the humor of the situation. Well, then laugh, man, laugh. <laughs> yes, laugh. <laughs> Go on, laugh. <laughs> yeah, so I think we can dispense with your guards. You might tell them to occupy themselves elsewhere. And remember, I understand French. Sortez, as you would demand, plus tard. What's your name? Corporal Simon Welsh, Your Grace. Corporal Simon? Of course, I remember. Will Your Grace be so good as to put these on? Where did you get them? Oh, I have a persuasive way with women, Your Grace. Your Grace. And the next move? There's a farm cart waiting outside. If Your Grace will go. And you? I'll look after him, Your Grace. I'll join you later. face before, but it'll wait. soldier said it to the girl. No, no, the girl said it to the soldier. The soldier said it to the girl. Think, man, think. Think how much funnier it is my way. Where's your sense of humor? Gad, Corporal, you're right. It's a hundred times funnier that way. What the girl said to the so... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Take 
Grace, Your Grace. Pray take my horse. And a horse for the corporal here. Corporal, Your Grace? Yes, my rescuer. Trooper! Corporal Welsh, you'll ride by my side. Gentlemen, last night this man risked his life on my behalf and risked it single-handed. In grateful acknowledgement, I hereby appoint him my personal orderly and body servant. For the remainder of this campaign, he shall share my tent and lie by my side. May I speak to you, Your Grace? Certainly. What is it? May I speak to you alone, Your Grace? Something urgent? And private, Your Grace. Very private. Now, what is it? Sir, Your Grace, I... I can't go on any longer. I don't understand. Don't tell me you want your discharge. No, Your Grace. I want my husband. Ho! Ho, 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 ho! And you were going to share my tent and sleep by my side. Well, let's hope the Duchess never hears of it. And where is this precious husband of yours? I don't know, Your Grace. I've lost touch with him. He's in the Queen's Regiment. The Queen's Regiment? Yes, Your Grace. Private Richard Welsh. Here's the name of the man who betrayed me to the enemy last night. What did you say your husband's name was? Richard... Welsh, Your Grace. Oh, no. No, he couldn't be Dick. He couldn't really, Your Grace. Why not? He's too stupid. Oh, he couldn't. Have they shot him, please? Not yet, but nothing can save him. He received a message from another man, a sergeant who has since deserted. Your agent is here, Your Grace. The man, Naylor. It's bad news. Shall I send him in? No, I'll see him in the anteroom. Welsh, man who betrayed, received the message from Sergeant Cummings, since been reported as missing from his regiment and posted as a deserter. Cummings. Hmm. A treaty of peace, hmm? Huh? At least the terms of a treaty, Your Grace. They were dispatched from Whitehall two days ago to Versailles, where Mr. Harley is waiting to receive them. Who's carrying them? That we do not know, Your Grace. The thing was done secretly behind Your Grace's back. Where's that wriggling old serpent got here? He was arrested yesterday, Your Grace, and searched. But there was nothing. He must have passed it on. They've been clever. Well, we must be cleverer. Are we going to waste the work of seven years? Not in this world. Only this morning I drafted my terms of peace. I'll show them to you. Your Grace, this man's Sergeant Cummings. This man's Sergeant Cummings. These are my terms, gentlemen. Your Grace! This man, Sergeant Cummings, who deserted. Deserted? Who deserted? Sergeant Cummings has been missing ever since he passed that message on to Dick. Sergeant Cummings, missing. Yes. This man, Cummings, do you know him? Yes, Your Grace. Have you ever seen him in communication with anybody? Anybody suspicious? No, Your Grace. Not that I know of. Well, think, man. Yes. Boy. Woman, think. Woman? Yes, damn it, woman. Well, I wish. Sure. Yes, Your Grace, I have thought. I did see him once. He was selling army stores to... to the man who held you prisoner in the farm. Gautier.
The first whimper to a true scent. Gautier will have handed the treaty to this man Cummings. And he will pass it to Mr. Harley, who is waiting at Versailles. Who will present it to the king. Cummings is your only hope, Your Grace. He must be pursued, Your Grace. Overtaken, arrested. Hold hard, Harry. Don't overrun the line. Corporal Welsh. Yes, Your Grace. You know this man Cummings. Yes, Your Grace. Well, I'm going to send you to find him. Yes, Your Grace. He carries a document. He will have gone by Arras and Alba. The coast road will be too risky for him. You will find him and get the document away from him. But how, Your Grace? How? Use your wits. You're a woman, aren't you? Yes, Your Grace. Might I make a suggestion, Your Grace? A fair exchange. These? My peace terms? In exchange for theirs. Do you think you could contrive such a miracle? Your Grace has just reminded me that I am a woman. Well, God be with you, my dear. Gentlemen, our plans remain unchanged. We attack at dawn. Oh, Corporal Welsh. Yes, Your Grace. This letter will provide for your needs wherever my name carries influence. You understand? You mean this letter will get me anything I want? Anything. Your Grace. Let me buy. Let me buy, I say. Let me buy. Here, here, here. What's the idea? I want to see my brother. No one is allowed to communicate with the prisoner by order of the Colonel. The prisoner is to be released at once by order of the Duke of Marlborough. Take a look at that. I'll lock that door. Get out! Dick, this is no time for affection. Come on. But what? Why? We're going. Where? On the Duke's business. Oh. Oh, Dick, listen. Cummings has deserted. Do you understand? He's deserted. He's on his way to see King Louis by Arras and Albert. Now he's got a good start, but he's got to be stopped. Stopped? Yes, and we are going to stop him. We've got to get the treaty from him and deliver the proper one ourselves. The treaty? Yeah. Fortunately, I have enough intelligence for both of us. Yes, dear. Yeah, come on. Follow me. Sergeant Bull? Aye? Don't gate, ma'am. How much money have you got? Now, look here. Come on, hand it over, all of it. I have a dial. His Grace's personal orders. I, uh, I think it's in this pocket, Sergeant. <laughs> I'm right. Thank you, Sergeant. By heavens, I'll make you pay for this. In subordination? Well, well. You're a good lad, Sergeant. I'll tell his grace as much when I see him. Now, we want the best horses in the stables. Come on, jump to it, man, jump to it. Horses! <laughs> Besides, the quickest way to Paris. 
Listen, I'll wager we're nearer to him now than we've been since he left. Supposing we passed him? Not likely. Wait a minute. It's a miracle if you're right. That's true. Of course, we didn't waste much time. There's that about it. He may be behind us. Hey, cochez! Allez vite! Cochez! Cochez! Allez plus vite! Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Nous sommes en retard. Allons-y, allons-y. Oui, oui, monsieur. Hop! Bien, take this. Hold up and I give you the word. Alors. Corporal Simon Welsh to see King Louis the Fourteenth on urgent and personal business. Ah, des sacrés anglais, quoi. Bon, passez donc. You wait there, Dick. Well, my lord, I trust that very soon now our joint efforts for peace be crowned with success. I trust so, Your Majesty. The terms were dispatched from London a week ago. It is time they arrived. This terrible Marlborough of yours, ah, quelle horreur. Already he prepares a fresh battle against me at... Uh, Malplaque, Your Majesty. At uh, Malplaque. His Grace is a headstrong man, Your Majesty. But I think we've taken the wind out of his sails this time. We must do it quick. Where is he, this envoy of yours? <laughs> Of surrender? Non de Dieu! Who has done this? Me and Morgan!
your grace. Well, Corporal, I see someone waiting for you over there. Permit me to take you to him. Here she is, Master Welsh. Guard her well, or I shall be taking her with me to the wars again. The bravest follower a general ever had. And that, Mistress Kit, is what the soldier said to the girl. And this is what the girl said to the soldier. God save your grace. Bow, you fool.